From what I'm hearing, frontline social workers say, and I would agree, it is a crisis situation. NAEP President Jerry Earle says the shortage of social workers in Newfoundland and Labrador is a crisis. It's an issue he raised nearly a year ago. At the time, there were 99 vacancies in the Department of Children, Seniors and Social Development. Today, the situation hasn't gotten better. It has gotten a little bit worse. Uh, there seems to be a fair number of resignations versus retirements. Uh, sometimes you can plan long term for retirements based on years of service people have. But when you have a significant number resigning unexpectedly in most instances, uh, and in some ways not unexpectedly because people know the challenges that's in that work, uh, that places a significant bur burden on re recruitment and retention. So there's got to be a real focus on keeping the social workers we have. We certainly cannot afford to lose any more. Today, there are 105 vacancies in CSSD, one of the largest employers for social workers in the province. NDP leader Jim Din says there should be exit interviews in order to get to the root of the problem, given that resignations are outpacing retirements. That's significant because that means there's uh, an extra workload now on, uh, on, um, on, the, on the people who are left. And uh, we're not talking about, <clears throat> we're not talking about the uh, easy to manage cases. We're probably talking about some of the most difficult cases, whether it's child custody, people dealing with uh, significant stressors in their life. It's unclear why social workers are quitting well before retirement age, but industry reports suggest work-life balance and burnout, among other reasons. CBC News asked CSSD Minister Paul Pike for an interview. Instead, his department sent a statement saying it's facing the same recruitment and retention problems as the rest of the country. Mike Moore, CBC News, St. John's.